multiplication of metric measurements. Good morning kids. Today, let's see how to multiply metric measurements. Let's start. Multiply 31 liters 352 milliliters by 7. To solve this, there are two methods. Let's start with method 1. Step 1. Arrange in liters and milliliters columns and multiply. Thus, on multiplying 31 liters 352 milliliters by 7, we get 217 liters 2464 milliliters. Step 2. Convert milliliters to liters and milliliters if needed. Thus, on converting 217 liters, 2,464 milliliters, we get 217 liters plus 2,000 milliliters plus 464 milliliters, which is equal to 217 liters plus 2 liters plus 464 milliliters, which is equal to 219 liters, 464 milliliters. Now, let's use method 2 for the same example. Let's follow a few steps to solve this. Step 1. Write the liters and milliliters as decimal. Thus, we get 31.352 liters. Step 2. Multiply using the rules of multiplication. Thus, on multiplying, we get 219.464 liters. Kids, remember, the decimal points in the multiplicand and the product should align. Let's try one more example. Why not use the first method here? Here, we arrange in kilograms and grams columns, multiply and then convert grams to kilograms and grams if needed. On multiplying, we get 312 kilograms and 2000 grams. Now, on converting 312 kilograms, 2000 grams, we get 312 kilograms plus 2000 grams, which is equal to 312 kilograms plus 2 kilograms, which is equal to 314 kilograms. Now, let's quickly solve an example using the second method. Write kilometers and meters as decimal number and multiply using rules of multiplication. We get 19.856 kilometers as decimal number. Thus, on multiplying, we get 178.704 kilometers. Hope you had fun learning multiplication of metric measurements.